So what do you get when you combine the worst qualities of an elephant and a donkey? You get a lot of shit. Oh, oh, the smell. Oh, there's a lot of crap in here. Let's take a look. Yep, that's a Vincero watch. And we're gonna talk about it and why you should not buy this crap. So if you haven't noticed, this is going to be a different video and uh, it's quite possible that it will have a lot of profanity. So I really hope you enjoyed it. Let's get on with the show. I'm actually quite angry. Um, you know that YouTube and the internet is a very interesting place. Whether you're talking about handmade shoes, handmade shoes, and uh, you know, those cut the middleman, you know, straight to consumer models and all the stuff that all the you bloggers and the YouTubers promote. And in the end, it's a pile of crap that, you know, they want to make money out of because they are affiliate partners. So one of the things, uh, you know, that's considered a very important thing when you start your wardrobe and you want to be a complete man is to have a watch, a nice watch. It's a nice accessory. Uh, I actually don't wear watches. They just feel weird in my wrist. But it's a very nice accessory to complement any outfit you might have for any situation. The problem is that watches tend to cost quite a lot. Good watches, at least. And here is where there are a lot of cheap, low-quality watch brands that have popped up in the last few years that tell you about, you know, radical quality at radical prices and in the end it's a pile of crap made in China or something similar. This particular abomination is called Vincero, Vincero, who cares? And it's been promoted everywhere, everywhere. This is like your you know, classic Nordstrom rack. And it's everywhere. Like, I bet that if you Google this, then the next ads you will get are going to be about this. The problem with this is not that it's not just good, is that so many, especially YouTubers out there, like Real Men Real Style, uh, that uh, other alpha, beta male, uh, whatever he's called, Aaron, and uh, the other, uh, what is his name? Teaching Men's Crap, that one. And they will swear by these watches and those products they will, like they use. And of course, they're affiliates. You get you buy something that they promote and they get a commission. What are they gonna tell you that they suck ass? What they do? And we're gonna talk about it today. Whew. Two, three years ago, I decided to buy one of these uh, to get a cheap, nice, decent looking watch. And uh, I regret every every part of it, every every step, every... I wish you slapped me and said no, which I'm going to do now. And uh, I mean, from the get-go, it looked like there were some problems and I'm gonna talk to you all about it now that I got it out of the trash three years later so I can see how it looks and if it works. Let's start. So we're gonna talk about Vincero as a company and I got my trusty phone here so I can give you some nice quotes. So, uh, Vincero is a company made by three friends. That's always a great start, you know? Son, Aaron, and I, whoever it is, and they decided to move to China to start designing and manufacturing our own products. Fair enough. So, it's like someone with no experience about watches decided to go somewhere and make watches. Of course, you know, blah, 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 there's the story that we try to source the best materials, stop cutting corners and offer a great value solution without, you know, the very high price and selling directly to consumer. My ass, by the way. Evolution of our products, you know, uh, something was missing, then we found the perfect match and then we sell, you know, the watches and we have some excellent stories. This is one of my favorite parts. Vincero means I will win. Well, they won. They are everywhere. Everywhere you see, they are flooded with us. They won. They've won the internet. Just send your cheap, cheap ass products to some YouTubers or some people and, well, you won. If, if you're, they're willing to buy, you won. 
It's derived from the famous Italian phrase veni, vidi, vici, which you can find on the back of this shit. And it means, I came, I saw, I conquered. And again, they did. Those and a billion other brands, they've won. They've won the internet, they've won the basic consumer that has no clue. Oh man, people who say, I will not, I wish, those are our people. <sighs> More importantly, we believe in people who push beyond their limits to make their dreams a reality. I made my dream a reality, and it does not involve a Vincero watch. Alright, alright. Let's get with the actual review now, right? So, first of all, when I first received this uh, truckload of crap, uh, it came from the US. Uh, I don't know if that has changed, but uh, of course, since I'm in Europe, I had to pay import taxes. I had to wait like a long time as well to get it. And it was definitely not worth it, first of all, because of that. And it arrived in some cheap case. And uh, there's a small watch like uh, case that you will see here. And uh, that's about it. You open it up. And what do you get? You get your watch. 30% off and a referral for friends. And of course, a hashtag so you can win more crap. That's it. And you get like a small, very, very small chip leaflet that tells you what pretty much to, you know, to do and how to set up your watch, right? Listen to this, this is comedy gold. Our mission is to provide modern day gentlemen with the accessories they need to look and feel unstoppable. Take it easy, see ya, take it easy. We believe a watch does so much than simply tell time. Well, you idiots, it stopped telling time. It doesn't work anymore. It tells the world that you are all about. You are an idiot. More importantly, it's a physical reminder that time never stops. It stopped! Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Anyways, I, I'm getting too upset over this and uh, this is quite an unscripted video, so stay tuned because over this weekend I learned that I know much more swear words than I ever believed it's possible. So let me show you a close-up and we we'll discuss some details about the, this watch. Alright my friends, let's uh, take a close look uh, why you should not buy this uh, garbage. Uh, so first of all, I'll already show you the case. There's nothing special about it. It does its job, it just has the logo on top and that's it. Let's move on at the <laughs> star of the show, which is the watch itself. As you can see, it's a quite minimalist looking watch. There's nothing special about it. To be fair, that's why, how I prefer my watches because I'm not a fan of, you know, Rolexes and all this fancy, uh, you know, designs. I like it simple with just a few dials. Uh, there's just, you know, the uh, date here, of course, the crown, and just, you know, your few, three dials to show you what's going on. So this model is called the Kairos or Keros. Uh, Keros in Greek means uh, weather, so I'm not sure which one is which. Doesn't matter. And this is the rose gold version, which uh, I don't think they make it anymore. And it's probably best for you. So you can avoid it easier. Now let's talk about the strap. Uh, the strap is supposed to be 22 millimeters and it's like this dark brown croc print. And I quote, they say it's top grain Italian leather, uh, which is another, you know, gimmick. As you can see, oh my God, look at this. Look at this garbage, I've barely used it. And you can see how the, the leather is so bad and so badly coated that it's just peeling off everywhere. It's horrific. And of course, the croc print is pathetic. Like, it's pathetic. It's embossed, of course, but they, they don't even try. And when you see it from the back, <laughs> Vincero, my ass, uh, you can see, you know, that the stitching density is very, very low. And you can also see, you know, the green cracking here. Uh, it's, uh, it's, quite, it's quite ridiculous. Uh, admit, admittedly, the case uh, has held on pretty okay and it doesn't have any scratches over the last two, three years that it's been sitting in storage. And uh, if you have noticed something very important is that the watch has stopped working, uh, which uh, is, I mean, it's not a problem, you can fix this. 
But the biggest problem when I got this watch was that the time was not right. And I'm like, okay, maybe it came overseas, maybe I have to adjust it. So I did. Well, a week later, it started to lose time again. So it was like an hour forward or an hour backwards or whatever. And eventually, after a few weeks, uh, I gave up and it just kept losing time and time and time. And finally, it stopped here. Uh, now, let us uh, let me quote you some of the specs. Uh, some, uh, like the case is 42 millimeters or so, uh, which is it's exactly quite thick for such a watch. And uh, the thickness itself is 10 millimeters. Uh, the strap we already talked about, it's, uh, you know, 22 millimeters. The strap is garbage, like really one of the worst features, and it's it's extremely stiff. Please don't buy this. Now we get to the more interesting part. So the movement of uh, like the watch, uh, it's, it's quartz, but you know they they call it. I'm quoting here: Citizen Miyota quartz. So they what they do is they use a gimmick. You know they use a marketing plot. They, they talk about Citizen, a very well, you know, respected watch company, which uses, you know, the Miyota, this is like, let's call it a, a watch movement, which nobody would know that name, but you know Citizen, right? So they use that to try to make you feel that this is good, which is not, apparently. Water resistance, it's like 10 atmospheres, it's nothing special. Uh, now, interesting again, the glass. Uh, it says that it's sapphire coated crystal, scratch resistant. So the problem is, you know, sapphire is an extremely strong uh, type of, uh, you know, like uh, material that is actually quite scratch resistant. But in this case, it, the keyword is sapphire coated. So this means that you have probably some garbage behind, like underneath, and they just coat it with some layer of, you know, saf sapphire to give it some more scratch resistance. Ah, so much for not cutting corners, right? Then you got stainless steel that is 316L surgical. Wow! Put surgical, put some nice numbers, and immediately you get upgraded to something better than you are. And of course, in the case pack you have... Italian marble showcase, which is like a marble and uh, nobody gives a crap. So, nice. And here, you know, like my favorite words, like veni vidi vici and leave your legacy. Well, you're not going to leave your legacy with this watch, okay? So, that's about it. That's the close-up. This is not a watch you should buy. Um, while the case is holding out okay, uh, the rest of the watch has been extremely compromised. And uh, every part of it, every part of it is very low quality, and I advise you highly against into buying into those marketing plots of you know fancy YouTubers and bloggers. So let's move on. So my friend, that was it. That was the close-up. That was the intro. I still I cannot fathom how people fall victims to such you know marketing plots and these digital marketing fake things. As, like, almost with everything, if you go on Google and search for something and you also include some keywords like, like scam or real reviews, the same thing will come up. The same crap will come up, it doesn't matter. People will tell you that movement watches are better than Rolex and they will tell you that this is amazing and this is great value. Why would someone in the right mind would buy something like this instead of buying a Seiko or, you know, spending some more and buying a Citizen or buying, I don't know, like a proper, an Orient Bambino, which is a great watch for the price. $130, $140 for, for this? Why? Just because it looks okay? They talk about how their statement wants to be, you know, like to be bold and interesting and different. How are you bold with this? This is as basic as it comes. I wore it a few times, obviously, back then, and when the problem started, I, I gave up. I'm not interested. What about garbage? Hot garbage. You know, when you, you show me carrying the bag in the intro, imagine that this bag was actually shit. So you take that shit, and you sprinkle gold on it, or you sprinkle some truffle, or you spray it with, uh, I don't know, like cologne. 
it still smells like shit. And this is exactly what this watch and these brands are. They're coated shit, made to look nice, but underneath they are horrendous. Don't spend your money buying this crap. And there is going to be a lot more reviews on this channel about accessories and clothes and shoes that you should avoid, like avoid with a capital A. Oh my God, this rant is going too long, huh? All right, uh, in uh, very simple terms, avoid, a surefire sign when a product is promoted massively by YouTubers and bloggers, like massively and everywhere, is probably a bad sign. Stay away from Vincero watches and pretty much everything similar, but stay away especially from Vincero watches. Or I will find you and I will slap you one time for each dollar spent on this, okay? You know, that was actually quite cathartic and uh, I wanted to do this for a long time because this is garbage and uh, I quite enjoyed it and I hope you did too. So if you did, which you should have, you should definitely leave a thumbs up, write your comments down below about your real thoughts about this and so it gets some promotion and it gets shown out there so people understand that they should not buy this thing. It's simple as that. Uh, when I started, I was actually an affiliate myself, so you could click the link and I would get a commission. Well, I refuse to give you a link and like a, even, even a link to their website to go buy this. Don't do it. I will be very angry. <sighs> okay, so yes, leave a like, subscribe. And I have got some really awesome shoes, had some really crappy stuff to show you in the near future. And uh, of course, even though this was a joke of itself, uh, I still have a dad joke for you right after the credits. So today I swallowed a bit of food coloring. I went, went to the doctor and he said, you'll be okay. But the truth is I died a little inside. <laughs> Just like I died reviewing this watch. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.